Hi everybody, it's Miss Annie from the Wakefield Library with another virtual story time for you. How are you doing today? I'm feeling pretty good and today I'm thinking about shapes and colors. So today we're going to read Brown Rabbit Shape Book by Alan Baker. This is with permission from Macmillan Publishers. And we're also going to read Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds with permission from Candlewick Press. So we'll enjoy some stories just like we did last week and we'll sing some songs, we'll do a little bit of movement together, and then at the end we'll do a little craft project. For today's craft you're going to need uh, some paper. If you have colored paper like construction paper that's great. If you don't you can use a piece of white paper and maybe markers or crayons something to color it in with. Um, and then you'll need a pair of scissors and you might need a pencil as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our opening song, Hello Friends. Um, we're going to use some American Sign Language to help us sing this one. So let's go over all of the signs and then we'll sing together. So the first one we need is, hello, like a little salute, hello. Friends, we take our pointer fingers and we go crisscross, like two friends giving each other a hug, friends. It's time, we tap our wrists for time. To say, we point to our lips, say, hello, and we do our salute again. Ready to sing? Hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends. It's time to say hello, hello, friends. Hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. That was great! So next I always like to wake up some different body parts when we get started in the morning. So how about we wake up our hands next and we'll start with a clap, clap, clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 we wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our elbows with a flap, 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 flap. We wake up our elbows with a flap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our shoulders with a shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 we wake up our shoulders with a shake, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our toes with a tap, 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 tap. We wake up our toes with a tap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Get all those wiggles out. All right. So that was pretty fun. I'm feeling very awake now. How about you? You ready to get started with some books? I am. So let's start with Brown Rabbit Shape Book. Again, this is by Alan Baker, and we're reading this with permission from Macmillan. This is a very old copy of Brown Rabbit Shape Book. I had this when I was a little kid growing up, so have this for many years now. It's almost as old as I am. <laughs> All right. One day, a package arrived for Brown Rabbit. It had bright red triangles on the wrapping paper. What do you think is in that box? What do you think Brown Rabbit got? Hmm. The card was in the shape of a rectangle and it said, to Brown Rabbit. Hmm. Rabbit took off the paper. Underneath was a square box. Rabbit lifted the lid. What do you think Rabbit will find in this box? Hmm. Inside was a tube. And with a circle-shaped top, Rabbit opened it. Do you think there's another shape inside of there? Let's find out. 
out tumbled five flat floppy balloons, all different colors. Lovely balloons just waiting to be blown up. Well, let's see what these balloons look like. What kinds of shapes do balloons make? I thought we'll see some shapes in here. Oh, here we go. Rabbit blew up the red balloon. It was big and round like a ball. <gasps> Whoosh! It flew off. The orange balloon was oval shaped like an egg and whoosh, away it flew. The green balloon was long and sausage shaped. Rabbit couldn't hold it. Whoosh, off it went. The purple balloon was smaller and shaped like a pear, but uh-oh, one more puff thought rabbit, then bang, it burst. That balloon had too much air in it. The last balloon was all colors, long and curly whirly. Look at that one. What colors do you see in this balloon? I see some yellow, red, blue. I think I see a little green up there. What do you think is going to happen to this one? <gasps> whoosh! Blast off! Woo! Woo! Whoosh! Off it goes. Goodbye, balloon shapes. I'm all out of puff, thought Rabbit. He tidied up the balloons, the tube, the box, and the paper. Then Rabbit-shaped Rabbit fell fast asleep on top. And he's pretty tired after playing with all those balloons, huh? Excellent. So before we read our next book, let's do, let's get a couple wiggles out. I always like to get my wiggles out in between the stories. First, I wiggle my fingers. Then I wiggle my toes. You can't see them, but they're wiggling. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. This one's hard. I bet Brown Rabbit is very good at wiggling his nose, though. What do rabbits do? <laughs> they wiggle their noses, right? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. All right, well, those were great stories. So how about we do a couple uh, different songs together? gonna slide my camera back here because our first one we'll do is walking walking so I'll make sure I have some space here slide you back a little bit further all right ready walking 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 hop 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 Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Stomping, 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 stomping. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Tiptoe, tip. -toe, tip Tiptoe, 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 hop, 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 running, 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 now we stop, now we stop. Twirling, 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 hop, 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 
Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. <laughs> Good job. It's always fun to do some movement, right? All right, I'm going to move my chair back for this one. So for this next one, uh, this is called If You're Wearing Any Red. So this is pretty fun. So take a look. What different colors are you wearing today? Well, I'm wearing some red. So I'm going to sing some different colors in the song. And when you're wearing the color, you want to do the action that I say. So let's get started. We'll start with the red. If you're wearing any red, any red. If you're wearing any red, any red. If you're wearing any red, put your hands up on your head. If you're wearing any red, any red. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any blue, point your finger at your shoe. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any pink, any pink. If you're wearing any pink, any pink. If you're wearing any pink, make your eyes go blink, blink, blink. If you're wearing any pink, any pink. If you're wearing any green, any green. If you're wearing any green, any green. If you're wearing any green, make a noise like a machine. If you're wearing any green, any green. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow. If you're wearing any yellow, wave your hand and say hello. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow. If you're wearing any color, shout hooray. If you're wearing any color, shout hooray. If you're wearing any color, then you want to give a holler. If you're wearing any color, shout hooray, hooray. Good job. I hope I, I think we got all the colors in there. <laughs> Excellent. So let's do another, um, this is a little color rhyme. This is called Stop Says the Red Light. So this is about traffic lights. So we can remember what the different colors mean. So what colors do we see on a traffic light? We see red, yellow, and green. But they all mean different things, don't we? So I like this rhyme because it helps me to remember what the different colors on the stoplight mean. So I'm gonna use a little bit of American Sign Language in this one, and you can just follow along with what I do. Ready? Stop, says the red light. Go, says the green. Now just wait, says yellow in between. That's what they say and that's what they mean. Red light, yellow light, and the green. Let's do it again together. Stop, says the red light. Go, says the green. Now just wait says yellow in between. That's what they say and that's what they mean. Red light, yellow light, and the green. Good job. All right, so for our last song before we do the goodbye song, let's sing A Circle is a Shape. This is to the same tune as the wheels on the bus. And we'll go over a couple different shapes, like we saw in a brown rabbit shape book. How's that sound? A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round, round and round. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round. A triangle is a shape with three sides, with three sides, with three sides. A triangle is a shape with three sides. One, two, three. A square is a shape with four sides, with four sides, 
With four sides, a square is a shape. With four sides, one, two, three, four. Great job. All right, so before we move on and do our craft for today, let's sing our goodbye song before we go. This is uh, just like the hello song, but we're gonna use goodbye instead of hello. So let's remember our different signs that we use to help us sing the song. So we need goodbye, just a little wave, goodbye. Friends, we tap our pointer fingers together. Friends, it's time, we tap our wrist to say, point to our lips, goodbye, and we wave again. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Well, I had so much fun reading and singing with you, so I hope you had a great time. Um, if you want to do a craft with us today, our craft we're going to do is shape houses. So look at all of the different shapes that we can use to make a house. And in the comments or in like the little video description, um, I'll list all the different shapes that you need to make it, but I'll go over them right now too. So if you have some colored paper, you can use that to make your shapes, or you can do what I did. I didn't have any colored paper, so I just used some white paper, and I colored this with highlighters, actually, because I like the bright colors a lot. So this is what you need to put it together. We'll need one big triangle and one big square for the house. And then we need two medium rectangles one rectangle for the chimney, one for the door, and two medium squares for the windows. Mine are a little light, they're a little hard to see, but they're there. Then we need three small circles, one, two, three, for the little puffs of smoke coming from the chimney, and one teeny circle for the doorknob. So you're able to cut these out. If you have colored paper, you can use that. Or again, you can just color in the shapes however you like and put them all together and make a house. And if you wanna share it with us, ask an adult to take a picture and send it to us and we can post it on our Facebook page with your name and your age. Thank you so much for joining me again for story time and I will see you next week. Have a great time doing your craft. We'll see you later. Bye, everybody.